Okay, so we're going to show you how to do the batting practice mode. So we're going to go to um, start game. We'll do home stadium, batting, batting practice, start game. Okay, so now we are on the field. Now this is the, the mode most people play the most. Um, it has the most customization and it has a lot of menus. So we're going to go over all the menus. So first thing is you come to the table and you need to build yourself a bat. So we're going to click on, um, one thing is how do you move? Uh, use the trackpad of your left controller and you can move around. And if you uh, hold down the trigger and then move, you'll move a little bit faster. And then on your right hand, um, right above the trackpad, that button that turns on and off the laser. So we are going to select the bat, and you can pick a metal bat or a wooden bat. And then you can pick either your bat length or the bat drop, depending on metal or wood. And you just cycle through them using the menu system. And this is previous if you wanted to select a different one. That's how all the menus are built. You pick your wood type. We have all three different types. Then you can pick standard or color setting. So I guess this is a good time to show the color setting menu. Over here, you've got a color picker menu, I guess you could call it. Um, you can change the batting trail, which you guys will see in a minute or the back color. So we can look through if we have any, but we don't have any right now. So we're going to create one. So leave it on save color. Um, for the trail you can do two different colors, but for the bat you can only do one. And then basically we are just going to pick a color and you can adjust the settings. So we'll go off the orange that we had before. And then when you're done, you're going to click save. Um, you can just click apply if you just want to use it right then. But if you actually like the color, you can click save. And then you have a keyboard, so we'll type in orange. Okay, so now let me mess this up a little. Okay, so now we have orange, so we should be able to go. We have load a color and delete a color. So then we can cycle through, and orange is the only one we saved so far. And then to load it, just click load. And there you go, it loads the saved color. And reset, we'll reset everything back to default. Um, when you're playing. It doesn't have anything, doesn't mess up any of the savings or anything. So we're going to click apply. And then we're going to click select. And then we have orange colored bat. So we're not going to use this. We'll use the wood one for our testing video. And this is the ash bat. This is the most popular. Um, so over here you got a main menu. This is just kind of what we covered in the main menu video. Um, it's kind of the same stuff. Talk about the targets in a minute. Uh, the next step would be to go over here on your pitching mode. So automatic or manual. Manual means that basically this button right above the trackpad, you have to click it every time and then have a ball. Um, pitcher will either pitch it or the pitching machine will shoot out a ball. Um, automatic is just you click it once and it keeps going, click it again to turn it off. So automatic's default because most people want automatic probably. Uh, settings, 
you got a set time or a random time. Um, basically, random, you can simulate like a game because it's not random or it's, it's not always going to be on a set time. Um, set time is great for like um, just practicing. Um, if you're doing a pitching machine, you should set it to four. That's basically the fastest you can set it. The fastest you can set it with the baseball guy, the pitcher, is seven. So we have a pitcher right now. So we'll set it to seven. Um, game item pack, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, most of the time, you're going to leave that false. Broken bat is true right now. Um, what that means is basically these wooden bats will break, uh, just like in real life. Um, if you hit them with good enough force and you hit the ball, I'd say about right here, in between these black handles, um, so all the way in about right here, right before it starts getting narrow, I mean, like a outward it, it, when it's straight, if you hit that, it will bust. Um, but you have to have like a uh, probably like, 80 miles an hour or 75 mile an hour pitch and a really good swing to break it. Um, then we have baseball player or pitching machine. As you can see, um, we have a pitching machine. Then we have a baseball player. Specific pitch we'll cover in a minute. Um, baseball pitch, or it, the other one, softball pitch. Um, softball pitches, this guy will throw it underhand. Baseball pitches, he'll throw it overhead, normal pitch. Left handed or right handed. Go right handed right now. Um, regular pitching means he'll throw balls and strikes. Strike only means he's only going to throw strikes. So, you know, you can, whatever you want to train on or play on. Um, then pitch spin, basically, this goes 1 to 100. Um, you really don't want to pat, put it past 20, I don't think. Um, that basically is how good your pitcher over there is going to throw pitch spin. So basically, like, curveballs, cutters, um basically how hard they'll break a um, few inches you know like 10 inches uh, if you put it up to like 50 or 60 you can almost looks uh like a cartoon like it goes around like a few feet so um that's one thing then you got um pitch type now this is the thing i want to talk about um you've got if you just did specific pitch, obviously you can cycle through any of the pitches. We have, I think there's like 12 or 13. We have all of them. Um, and then this goes from 15 to 110. Um, if you do 15 or 20, the guy, the pitcher is going to be like right next to you, just underhand tossing it. Um, 25 to 40, he'll be 30 feet half distance. And 40 and up, he'll be full 